Hi! Let's continue learning about interactive PDF. For this exercise, we're going to use this file that is called Forms Exercise. You can download it from the link below um, on the description box. Pause the video. I'm here. Remember that I always at your side. Ready? Let's go. So the first thing that we have to consider is that the top menu, especially the workspace, has to be digital publishing or interactive for PDF. Let's select interactive for PDF. You're going to find out that there are some um, panels that are not included, like animation, because you can't use an animation with PDF, or another links like the EPUV, okay? Because, you know, the transition, movement, and music and videos are not allowed in PDF. That's why I made it in both ways, so you can find out that it's really important to define the workspace that you're going to use. Now, what are we going to learn? We're going to learn how to create a form. You know, those forms that you receive through email, where you have to fill up and put all your information, we're going to learn how you can do it using InDesign and Acrobat Reader. The first step is to click Buttons and Forms. In case you don't have it here, remember that you can go to the top menu, Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. All the options that you have right here, you can have them on the panels at your right. Ready? Okay. What are we going to consider? We're not going to create more buttons. What we're going to consider is a form where you are going to introduce or someone else is going to introduce information. Click buttons and forms. I'm going to put it right here at the top so you can take a look to it and it's going to be easier. There are some areas, as you can see right here, that can be filled by information. For example, a product, quantity, um, maybe the total, or maybe a signature. How can we do it? The first thing is to create a space. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to get closer. Please get closer with your Zoom tool. I'm going to create a space wherever I want people to introduce information. I'm going to place it right here. Now, I'm only going to do one. Why? Because remember that you can duplicate and it's going to be less work for you. Always simplify your life. Once you have done this rectangle, you're going to come to the buttons and form panel. You're going to select type and then you're going to select text field. This area, someone, when they open the PDF file, they're going to fill it with information. What else do we have here? We have an area to name it. I'm going to put um, text product one. On release or tap, really when you uh, click, you're going to be able to include the information. Actions, what do you want people to do? Do you want people just to, to put information? Yes, so you don't have to select any action that you have right here because you're not going to move to any page because you don't want to go to a new, another view or open file. We're going to see some of this, okay? What else can we do? Once we have it like this, at the bottom, you're going to find out that you have different options. Printable, if is it because uh, maybe you want to print it later. Required, you can, for example, submit the PDF if you haven't placed the information. Password, if you want people, to, of, of course, to open the file and have a password. Read only, you're not capable of doing anything and transform or edit the information. Multi-line is when you can write more than one line. And a scrollable is when you, for example, when you scroll, you know, the information on web page. What are we going to use? Printable and a scrollable. Font. Sometimes when we are filling up some forms, there is a defined font. We are going to do the same. Please, where it's a font, write down Arial, Helvetica, select a font that is more commonly used for PC and Mac. I'm going to select Avenir. I'm going to select it in 12 and the option regular, okay? If you select and click the preview spread, 
you are not able right now to see anything because there is no animation, there is no buttons, but you have this area. But you don't have like the um, like the hand that is telling you that something is going to happen, right? Okay, so don't panic. We're going to see how it works. Please close it. And if you want to have this stroke around the area, you have to keep the color. In case you don't want it, please go to the top menu and select none. Once you have it like that, we're going to select this one and I'm going to duplicate it. Remember to press option. When you duplicate it on the panel at your right, you're going to find out that it has a different name, text product two. Now I'm going to duplicate the other one use the um, smart guides because it's going to align it to the number that you have at the left okay and it's text product three how about if you want to define the price of this product well let's do another box i'm going to draw the rectangle i'm going to define the space i'm going to try to align it to the one that i have to the left just like this and i'm going to convert it into a form so again text field. This is going to be for the price. One. I'm going to write down the same font that I decided before. And once I have it like this, remember, I don't want to have the stroke, so you shouldn't have it too. <laughs> okay, once I have it like this, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to align it to the object of my left and to the middle to the one that I have at the top. Okay, text price two, three, price two, price one. Again, something that is really easy if you want to use is for example, the use of the guides. They're going to be really helpful in, in case you don't want to use the smart guides, it's going to be really helpful to define, for example, where do you want to place? For example, I just found out that this is not aligned. And maybe this one, the size is smaller as you can see right here. So I'm going to adjust it. That's why you have to use the zoom tool. I'm going to use this one again. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to place it here. I'm going to raise this one and I'm going to align this one other. I'm going to use a grid because it's important. And I'm going to duplicate this one too. And this one has to go to a little bit to the left. There you go. Once I have it like this, okay. Remember that all of them are text fields. I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to define it for this area and for this other two. Each time I duplicate is going to define a different name. So if I want to change the name, remember that you just have to select it. In this case, I'm going to write down quantity. And on this one, I'm going to select total. For this one, I'm going to write down Avenir again. This is just in case you want to have like the same font. And I believe it looks better if you have the same font. So I'm going to select this too. Um, sorry, there you go. Shift option. Let me get closer because as it doesn't have the stroke line, it's hard to do the selection. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. And I don't want the other one outside. And I'm going to duplicate it. Oops, again, I selected this one by mistake. There you go. Try to use the zoom tool in case it doesn't work. Okay, so we have learned right now how to use, for example, the um, form text field. Now, be careful. Always confirm that you have what you want. For example, here it says Avenue Black but maybe I wanted to have, I don't know, Roman and uh, on this one, Roman two. Now you can select more than one. If you press shift, 
let me get closer again <laughs> it's kind of rough not this one and not this one this one this one and this one and not the one that is outside avenue roman i just take a look to it and i was like hi it's selecting something that i didn't want it let me see if this one is regular or roman avenue roman haha <laughs> if you know that i am a little bit obsessive with design that's why i'm doing all these changes but if you want to be obsessive as i am please do them too so roman right here and finally um, let me take off the guides because they're a little bit not helping me right now hide guides here it is one the other one and the other one perfect finally let's see if i have everything with roman roman the good thing is that you have time to review and as you haven't saved it as a pdf you're able to confirm that it has the information that you want let's see this one it goes and it goes let me zoom out so we have these areas and they're going to be text fields okay what else can we have right here i'm going to the top how about if i want people to print the document well it's really easy how are we going to do it we're going to use some of the buttons that you have right here and that InDesign is offering to you. Please click Sample Buttons and Forms. Okay, once we have it like this, select um, the one that you prefer. You can select one of these. I don't know, maybe this one is going to work for me. I'm going to place it here. Reduce the size because, you know, it has to be more organic. Once I have it like this, the checkbox has already a name okay for me it was it was going to is going to be printing okay print what i want is like on the or tab the action is going to print form okay so if they click it here the user click it here they're going to print directly the pdf file okay button value yes now how about here Remember that I usually show you two ways of doing a button or a form. Select the circle, ellipse tool, draw a circle. It really doesn't matter if it has a specific color or not. And this one is going to be clear form. So how can I convert this drawing into a form? Come to the buttons and forms panel, type, then select please where it says um, radio button. Now, what do you want? In this case, you have to name it, clear form. On release or tap, you want people to clear the form. Okay? So we have done some buttons, some forms, how to print, and how about the sign? Let's go to the button. Define the area that you want people to sign. Now let's go again. Type. You're going to put um, text field. On this case, name it as a signature. The action is that you want people to sign it. So it's going to be... Ta -dum -dum -dum. Let me see if we want signature. We have it right here. Ah, I was wrong. You have to select signature field, sorry. When you have this icon, you're telling the software that it has to be signed before submitting. If you don't want to have the stroke around it, please put the red line and this signature field you want people of course to sign it so you don't have to select any other action once you have it like this what other area can you edit well 
you have, for example, the subtotal area or the total area. You already know that you have to do a text field. Now, how are we going to save it? First of all, save it as an InDesign file. Go to File or press Command S or Control S. I'm going to do Save As because I already saved it before. And remember to select InDesign 2021 document. OK, save. In my case, it's going to say replace because I'm going to replace the first one I made. Now, how are you going to export it? Please go to File, Export, and select Adobe PDF Interactive. Once you have it like that, click Save. As we only have one page, all is OK. View the actual size because you want it to fit on the window. Single page, and please, always, always click View after exporting so you can confirm that you have done it perfectly. When you click Export, automatically it's going to open you the Acrobat Reader software and you're going to have the file. So we have this area where everyone can write down, for example, apples, oranges, and bananas. You can write down the price. For example, and you can write down the, the total that you have. Okay. Now, if I click it here, remember that we have selected this one. When I click it, automatically it's going to send me to print the document. You see, it's really easy. I'm going to select cancel. And I'm about to lose my, my energy, but I believe I want to finish it. Now, what else can we do? Take a look to this area. Ah, I'm going to clear the form, by the way. When I click it here, all the information is going to disappear. So it's going to be easy for the user to fill up the information on this form. Now, when you have to sign it, I already have my digital ID, OK? Most of the people who use Actor Reader, they have the digital ID because it's commonly used for legal documents. I'm going to click it here. In case you don't have it, it's really easy. Just follow the steps and it's going to tell you, do you want to do your ID in this computer? And you have to say yes. I'm going to do mine. It expires, for example, today. This is my digital ID. And I'm going to put my password that I already made. Let me see if I remember because I made it before. And you can form, save it. I'm going to replace it. And here you have it. So this is how you can do a form. I hope you enjoy and learn. And see you next week. We're going to do an e-publish or electronic publication. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.